It was 27 years ago today. ESPN, we lost our home team. The final NHL game played by the Hartford Whalers. I was, I was there. I was in the mall. I was with Mike Tirico. We went to the game. Saw a lot of grown men crying. What tears was everywhere. 27 years ago. And along those lines, really, unfortunately, we have another story to talk about. Here's Emily Kaplan. She'll be on the call tonight, Pittsburgh and Boston, uh, from the Berg there. And so, uh, you, Emily, you had the report that the Coyotes players and management has been told they are on their way. They will play next season in Salt Lake City. I mean, this is happening fast. Uh, what's the next play? What's the next move? How about the timeline there? Yeah, Steve. So obviously a lot of questions and the players had questions too. And that's why Bill Armstrong, their GM, flew to Edmonton last night to meet with the players. I believe his intention was just to tell the guys there's a strong possibility this is happening, but they peppered him with so many questions. They all left knowing and believing this is going to happen. Still some work to be done on the contract that would sign over the team to Ryan and Ashley Smith. They're also owners of the Utah Jazz. But the expectation is the Board of Governors will approve it and it will be announced next week and the team will begin playing next Next year in Salt Lake City at the Delta Center. You can expect some hockey-specific renovations there. Meanwhile, Alex Morello, the owner of the Coyotes, will remain in Arizona and try to win this land auction to build an arena. The AHL team is going to stay. They're going to maintain a youth hockey presence there. And his goal and the NHL's goal is to return the NHL to Arizona eventually. So this is a saga that just never ends. Wow. And, you know, you never like to see a franchise, franchise lose uh, its town. And my dad still talks about the Dodgers leaving Brooklyn. That was a few more years ago.